The following program is rated T for Teen for the use of tools and materials that can be harmful to unsupervised usage. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, I'm like Adam. I'm here. You know, Mia, MIA, here to stay. Okay, seriously, Adam, what, what is taking so long? Look, I, I told you, this is bath night. Uh, can we just, like, reschedule this? I'm in your house. No, we can't reschedule. Just get out here. It's not, you can just do no, that later. No, look, it, it's no. just the reschedule. Get is not out even... here. God. Don't make me call Jeez. you. Oh. Is that my towel? Hey. You know what? Never mind. Just introduce the video. Well, tonight was supposed to be bath night, but I guess instead of that, we're going to do another water feature. Rivers. Look, I didn't think you were serious about the bath. I'm very serious when it comes to cleanliness. Okay. Noted! Now that I've gone blind, Adam has dried off. He started on those riverbeds. Looking fancy. Look, it's not my fault that we are filming on bath night, okay? It's, cleanliness is very important. Almost as important as having a sharp blade. You'll notice here I'm cutting these pieces about one inch in width. The length isn't really relevant because for the most part, I'm gonna chop them into five inches and then chop them down further, but it just makes it easier for this next part. I'm gonna round out the edges with the blade, cutting at an angle, almost like a triangle. But once I have both sides carved in, I'm gonna go back on the top like so, and skim a little bit off there. You can sand this down if you want to make it a little cleaner, but that's totally up to you. For the next step, you're going to want some sort of a durable base. Cardboard works pretty good, but we were actually very lucky. Shouts out to Darcy in our 40k group, who actually cut these out from MDF boards just for this episode. So thank you, Darcy. Appreciate it. Now, you'll notice I'm snaking them along the edge here, chopping them into about an inch in length, just to make it a bit more manageable. Now, you might also notice that the camera just suddenly zoomed in. Uh, hopefully, this is not going to affect it too much in the post-production here, um, but we'll, we'll try to keep an eye on that for next time. Basically, what you're going to do is glue each of these segments down to your base, and you want it to be snaking back and forth. Don't worry if it goes over the edge. That's not a problem. We'll just carve it off with the blade afterwards. Um, and just put them together in an interesting pattern. Follow the river bend uh, as best you can. You'll notice this one is more or less straight with a few waves. We are going to be doing a couple elbow pieces later on. Uh, but it's basically whatever shapes you want your river to be. Once we have this out of the way, we're going to go with the blade and cut off anything that is uh, going over the lip too much. So on the end caps, on the side here. And uh, again, just make sure your blade is really clean when you're doing this. Nothing worse than having a dull blade making these kind of cuts. And while you're cutting, make sure that you have it a little more chaotic and random. Right. For this longer piece, I think this one clocks in at about 9 inches long by 4 inches wide. The entire piece is going to have different cuts, different grooves uh, on the inside here as well, some along the top. The only part that's consistent is that all of these pieces are 4 inches wide and the river banks are going to be 1 inch on each side. That way when you clip them all together, they will match. Once you've carved the river bend to your liking, it's time to go and plug any holes that might have come up in the build. For this, it's relatively straightforward. You just take your hot glue gun, you fill the gap, and then you slot in some styrofoam. Then you just take your blade like this, chop it up, and you're good to go. Now, in theory, we could have gone in there with maybe something like some clays, or even back in the day, I used drywall mud on a lot of my builds just to fill everything in. But we wanted to keep this on budget. This whole thing actually only cost Adam like 15 bucks Canadian, probably, to round up all the supplies. It really was totally doable on a poor man's budget. Exactly. And another thing is, a lot of this is going to get covered up with sand and flock anyways, so even if there are some parts that are a little more crude and uh, you know a little bit patchy here and there, don't worry about it too much. It's all going to get covered anyways, and it's going to look great. Okay, unless I'm doing this really wrong, we're going to do the other side, I think. He's left some, dis like, examples here for me, just in case I don't know what's happening. 
All right, it's now time to get messy here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take some uh, Elmer's Clear Glue, a.k.a. Ooze, and slather that across all the surfaces. So make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. And like I said, this will cover any holes or missing gaps that you might not have gotten. Don't worry about it. This is going to take care of this problem. So slather on both sides of the riverbank. I'm going to ooze it all in the middle here as well. And uh, yeah. There's no finesse. There's no skill involved in this. You're literally just spreading ooze over everything. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. This might be self-explanatory, but try not to get it in your hair because, uh, as Adam will tell you from experience, it does not come out easily. How and why I'm bald is none of the audience's concern, but what is their concern is nice, clear, consistent instructions. Just sp spread the sand on the glue. It's, it's, it's not that complicated but that's how you do the final step in construction so you can see here we have our river bend now it's time to paint this thing okay move aside now that i'm an expert and obviously am a master painter i've made this into an art or a, a sign i'm not good at geography okay you just paint it black that's the rules i think yes black go with that i don't need this i'm famous now well, once that's dried and Mia's ego's returned back to normal levels, we'll move on to the next step. We're going to go in with some brown and start dry brushing it across most of the surfaces. Now, we're going to leave a little bit of the black poking out here and there in random patches, mostly in the riverbed itself. And some areas are actually going to get two coats of brown as well. It's going to be very much randomized in little patches here and there. Okay, Adam's baldness has inspired me. I'm inspired okay basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the fire of a thousand suns and apply that paint do it gingerly dab it use those wrists i it, it's it's almost a rocket science possibly i believe in you you can do this i can do this <laughs> Well, once both Mia's tears and the paint have fully dried... I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm crying. It's raining. Yes. Uh, uh, we're going to go in with one part brown and one part golden yellow to make sort of a sandy color. And this is going to get dry brushed across most of the surfaces. Again, in the riverbed itself, we're not going to do as many layers. Uh, it's mostly going to be on the banks. Again, dry brushing in patches. Some areas will get a second layer. Very randomized. It was actually a very rewarding process of just dabbing on this paint and bringing this to life. I mean, I've only painted like one other thing, but I feel like these don't even look horrible. Yeah, no, actually, this is turning out pretty great. After we added some white, we got down to dry brushing and dry brushing. There was so much dry brushing. I just... It goes on for so... There's more dry brushing. Why Why is this happening? Adam, how much more dry brushing is there? I don't want to do this anymore. I might want to nap. I don't you think you're being a little overdramatic? I'm a tormented soul, Adam, okay? I'm an artist. Yes, I'm famous. Now we get to the good part. The only part that matters in my heart. We're adding color. Blue, specifically. Oh, Sorry, what kind of paint was this? You know what? I knew that. I'm just testing you. I'm just testing you. It's, it's fine. Just blue water makes sense, right? How many layers? Am I just going to paint this forever? Like, it's not working. How many layers do I have to do? Am, am I going to be here forever? How many layers? I don't know. About three or four, maybe? So this is going to last for eons. I'm going to be here for... Oh, it's actually kind of nice. Oh, look at that. For the next step, you're going to want to take one part blue and one part white to make a lighter blue color, and this is going to get dry brushed up and down the riverbed. Much like the river banks, our colors are progressively getting lighter and lighter, same as our brush strokes. We'll just keep adding more and more white to the mix and doing layer after layer. Now, while we're doing this, we're also throwing in some other colors, such as Thousand Suns Blue, Temple Guard Blue, and Sotek Green, all from Citadel Paints. Um, much like a natural river where there's dips and there's rapids and there might even be something underneath the surface, we're making ours very random. 
you can still see some of the black actually in the very center. That would probably be a deeper part of the river, maybe there might be something half submerged in there, until finally you get up to pretty much an icy blue, which is going to represent your rapids. You can take it a step further and even use pure white, but do so very sparingly. Unless you've glued a couple rocks here and there to maybe represent rapids, then you can maybe use a bit more white, but for the most part you want it to look like this. In fact, we went back in with some Temple Guard Blue just to make it a little less bright. And then final product's going to look something like this. Ooh, we're getting messy! Ooh, okay, so we're going to put some glue down, touch it with our finger, you know, just ooh, spread the ooh. No, no, it's... Ooh. 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 No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta roll it. The, the enunciation is the, the critical component here. You gotta say, ooze. I said that. Ooh. Right? It's the same. What do you, yeah. And now we're gonna get some of this grass and we're gonna sprinkle it on. Sprinkle it like little donuts. Little sprinkles. Little sprinkles. Sprinkle that up. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Adam's getting in on this. Oh, it's, it's gross. The only thing you need to worry about is that all the paint is fully dried. If this was still wet and we start sprinkling this on here, it might actually st get stuck into the blue paint. So as long as it's fully dried, you can just shake it off like this. No big deal. So yeah, just make sure it is fully dry before you go into this step. And there you have it, our river bank. Looking pretty good. Now we're gonna do a little inside secret. We're going to need to dam both sides of the river bank. So for this, take your hot glue gun and make a thin strip along the edge and apply a little piece of cardboard. It doesn't have to be pretty once we've got them on there. As long as they're airtight, that'll serve its purpose. And by the end of this, we'll be tearing them off. So once you have both ends sealed, we're going to go in with some Elmer's clear glue and do it in little sections here, spreading it and letting gravity do the rest. Now, if you get it on the riverbanks, just wipe it off with a cloth, try to get in there as fast as possible, and it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And uh, the only thing to bear in mind is once it's covered the entire riverbank, it does take a long time to dry. I think it's about nine hours for it to be fully done. Uh, so what I would usually do is do it first thing in the morning, go to work, do all my thing, come back home, and then as long as it's fully dried, I would do another layer as I go to bed. And that way I'm doing about two layers in a day. So this, this step will take some time, but once you've let that sit there, uh, I probably would recommend maybe three or four, depending on how shiny you want it to look. And when you have it fully finished, it's going to look a little something like this. Okay, and then after we get Adam, because I don't want to touch the glue, to put four layers on, well, bam, it dries. Then we just took the cardboard off and, ta-da, I got me a tiny little river bear. Oh, it's so precious. Look at that. Now, the only thing to be warned about is if you go too heavy with your glue layers, it'll actually start to shrink while it dries, pulling the styrofoam in. You'll notice here there's some cracks in the bottom part. It's actually come off the MDF boards. So just bear that in mind and go slow when you're doing your layers. That's it. Well, that's been today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, maybe found some useful information in there. And if you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe the video. Tell your friends. If there's anything that you want us to build an upcoming episode, let us know in the comments down below, and maybe we'll be able to do it in the near future. Just wanted to give a quick shout out. Thank you to everybody. We have 10,000 views on that channel now. Yeah, since we launched the first episode to the last one, we've racked up 10,000 views from all you beautiful people. We have 320 subscribers on the channel, so thank you guys so much for your ongoing support. And on that note, I've been Mr. Waugh from Mr. Waugh Media. Hope you were thoroughly entertained. And I'm Mia. I was MAA, but unlike Adam, I'm here to stay. Look, I told you a thousand times, this week it was bent to be bath night tonight. Your bath doesn't have any knobs. Are you taking a bath in a bucket? What I do with that bucket is none of your concern. Yeah!
The way we hold it down Pound for pound Like a pit full bound Hear the sound of the whole 